So we left off on opportunity cost and that's where we'll start off. And the definition for opportunity cost is the highest valued alternative we give up to get something else. And that is the opportunity cost of the activity chosen. Now, that is a horrible, horrible definition. I know and I'm sorry. I just haven't read it. I just haven't read it after I've written it. And now that I read it, it does not make that much sense. But don't worry about that because we're totally going to do an example to make this concept more clear. So let's say that tomorrow we have an exam to study for, or tomorrow we have an exam, and tonight we could study for it to get potentially good marks on tomorrow's exam. But our friends also called us out to go bowling, which is really fun. So now we have two choices. Now the opportunity cost of bowling would be studying, and so say that tonight you chose to go bowling and you had a lot of fun. Well, you you gave up the highest valued alternative, which is studying. Uh, that is something you've uh, forgone. So you've forgone studying, which you gave up. So that's the highest value alternative you gave up. So uh, if studying equates to getting potentially good marks, it's pretty much you went bowling and you gave up your highest valued alternative, which is to get potentially good marks. So if you didn't go bowling and you studied and you got an A, that's what you would give up. You would give up getting an A to go bowling. That's your opportunity cost. So bowling, the opportunity cost for bowling is the highest value alternative we give up. So the opportunity cost for bowling is studying and uh, vice versa. For studying, uh, if you choose to study rather than to go bowling, then you the highest value alternative for you would be giving up bowling, the highest value alternative that we give up. And the highest value alternative we give up to study is bowling. We lost the fun. So that opportunity cost of studying is bowling. The opportunity cost of bowling uh, is studying. The highest value alternative we give up to get something else. And that's pretty much my 101 for opportunity cost. And if you don't get it, uh, listen to the example again, and I'm sure you'll get it again. Uh, and yeah, let's just go through the definitions of margin to kick us off and we'll just end this video because I don't want to make it that long. So margin pretty much evaluates the consequence of making incremental changes in the use of their resources. And I guess uh, these examples make the definition a whole lot clearer. So pretty much margin is, for example, if I increase my spendings, how much more cars will I make? So if I increase my spendings, if I invest more into my company, how much more cars will I make? That's margin. You're evaluating the consequences, which is how much more cars you will make of ma by making incremental changes in the use of your in the use of their resources. So this incremental changes in the re in the use of their resources. Uh, pretty, it's pretty much this part that increase my spendings and uh, the consequences are pretty much how much more cars I will make so let's just I'm just gonna note this as C for consequences and this as uh, I C for incremental changes and that's pretty much margin for you marginal benefit is pretty much benefit from an incremental increase in activity in activity and it's pretty much the same thing as margin just we're just talking about benefit and marginal benefit so how much benefit will I get from producing one more car as an example of marginal benefit and marginal cost is the opposite of uh, marginal benefit it's the cost from an incremental increase in activity so how much more will it cost if I make one more car so the incremental changes for both cases is uh, is uh, is how much benefit will I get or how much will it cost and the consequence is uh, or no actually the incremental changes would be from producing one more car uh, yeah I got that wrong I'm brain farting again but yeah the incremental changes from is from producing one more car in both these cases so this is incremental change because we're producing one more we're making a small change in uh, in our operation and the consequences is how much benefit or how much cost so 
yeah, that's pretty much explaining it all. C for consequences. And yeah, pretty much. Yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like these videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And next video, we're going to do responding to incentives.